for longevity, is it better to do high volume, lower intensity or high intensity, low volume? So th this question, I, I, I kind of like hand selected that one for a reason, because a lot of people think it's, a, it's an either or. And it's like, why can't it be both? You know, and I think, uh, you know, when we're first starting out, we always kind of want the answer, right? Like what's better, what's more optimal. And the thing is, is that we're not robots, you know, we're going to probably evolve over time. And, uh, that first thing you have to realize, like first starting out or even intermediate is like, there's so much more to come and your context is probably going to change. You know, your, your life situation is going to change. Like, for example, like mentioning earlier to you that, you know, I have, I'm prepping a certain way. It's more like a lifestyle now that I have to try to balance with, with family and all that. Whereas the old Jeff would have been like, this is how we prep. We're hardcore. We're going at it. Like nothing's going to stop me. You know, it's kind of that mentality. So with the training side of things, it's kind of similar. You know, you, you may have something that works well. Maybe it's high intensity, you know, low volume. Hey, that worked great. Um, and then, you know, maybe there's other stints where you're like, okay, you know what? I just don't feel like training this hard. I don't feel like taking all my sets to failure. So let me do a little more volume. Let me back off the intensity. Cause I mean, how do we even decipher like what's better, like two sets to failure, one set to failure, or is it three or four sets, two or three in the tank? Like, how do you even know, like, what would be the difference in stimulus there? So I've learned to just over time, you kind of just, you know, through experiences, you, you kind of pick the tool that works best for the, the current situation. So you have to take in the mentality, the psychological aspect of it, you know, how your body's feeling, that type of thing. But I think just sometimes we, we kind of put these things in, in camps, if you will. You know, this, this camp says this, this camp says that. So it's more about trying to pick and choose which tool kind of works for the job at hand. So I don't think uh, as far as longevity is concerned, like it, it's more about managing everything, like all the variables. It's more about managing the overall volume, managing the intensity, the frequency, um, your nutrition, your sleep, how you're handling life stressors, like family dynamic, work dynamic. So I think oftentimes when we get these, these longevity questions, we always think about like, okay, I need to foam roll and stretch, but it's more about over managing overall supply and demand. And uh, that, like I said, it's just, there's so much context there, not just how we're doing things in the gym, but also how we do things outside the gym because they both can play off of each other. Yeah, and you're also, for example, like now that you're, you're, you made a lifestyle change, like you mentioned before with preparing for some upcoming contests in the near future, I'm sure you've had to pick and choose what's more appropriate based upon how your body's feeling, right? Like I, I think it was on the um, recent podcast you were featured on Mark Bell's uh, is that, is power, that, project. That? power project. That's the one mm -hmm. great, great episode, folks, go check that out. But um, where you, you had mentioned, like, you know, when you're feeling achy, or you know, you felt, you know, when certain things are bothering you on a specific day, maybe you're not going to do the high intensity stuff. Or when you're crunched for time, maybe that's when that's it, and you're feeling good. Maybe that's when you're going to I'll say, if I don't feel good, I'm crunched for time. I'm probably still going to be like, oh. it is, it is an easy day. <laughs> yeah. Cause gotcha. yeah. Cause I like to take a step, big step back. And like, before I actually do something, whether it's training, nutrition or what have you, like take a big step back and go, okay, the, the decision or the choice I'm going to make right now, how's that going to impact what's to come? Like not just today or in the moment, what, how's this going to impact tomorrow? How will it impact next week? I don't want to, I don't, overanalyze it to a point where all of a sudden I'm like paralyzed, but I'm like, okay, if I, if I do high intensity, like, you know, lift heavier and, you know, I'm going closer to failure, like what state am I in right now to do that? It, is it going to be productive or is it going to be counterproductive? You know, if I'm feeling a little beat, beat up, a little achy and I try to do that, then I'm only going to get that much more achy. Then chances are the next day, I'm probably not going to feel all that great. So it might be like, okay, that session might be better off. Like, okay, let me just tone it down. You know, and there's many ways of toning things down. So that way you're still getting some work in there, but you're not uh, exasperating the fatigue so much that you can't come back to the gym the next day or the next two days, you know? So therefore you think you're doing more, you're doing something a little more productive in the moment, but you stretch it out and it's actually, you're doing probably less or it's counterproductive. So yeah. it skins like longevity is the same thing. It's like, you're just doing it on a, on a broader scale. 
So you have to think acutely. We also have to take a big step back and think, how is this going to impact the big picture? And it comes down to managing the supply and demand, like how much dose you're actually giving yourself in the moment, what effect you're going to get from that, and then what recovery is going to be like after that. I'm not perfect. I do get banged up. You know, sometimes I do get those repetitive use, usage injuries. I try to change things out and stay ahead of the curve, but you know, we're all human. Sometimes, you know, it's just, oh shit, it just crept up. Now, now I'm achy. Then you have to, of course, modify. You know, we can look at not just exercise selection, but also like,